How to use HubSpot meeting scheduler tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the HubSpot meeting scheduler to streamline all of your communication with your contacts and with your leads. So let's get into it. And this is a simple tutorial for beginners. So it is not going to be important if you have used HubSpot previously, you can easily follow along. Now, to get started, HubSpot is a simple to use CRM tool. Now you can just click on start for free or get demo and get started with the free version of HubSpot. And you don't even need to purchase anything whatsoever. You can just continue on and click on get started for free. And if you want to demo any of their premium features, you can demo those as well. Now I'm going to continue with my sign up using my Google account because I already have a account on HubSpot via my Google account. So you can register using your simple email address if you want, but I have just simplified my work with HubSpot and their Gmail sign up just to streamline all of my communication. Now, to get started, you can see on your top, you have your contacts list, then you have your conversations, you have marketing, you have sales, you have service, you have automation, and then you have report. So in your contacts, obviously the first thing that you're going to set up with any communication is definitely to set up contacts and different companies that you're going to be communicating with. I find that to be the most important thing to do once I'm signing up. Now, once you have gone into your HubSpot account and you go on contact, you add your contacts and companies, you can continue with that or you can go on directly to your scheduler and start your scheduling uh, setup now. To get started with that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on sales over here and then from sales, you're just going to click on meetings and once you click on meetings, you can click on get started over here and you're just going to finish. And then you're just going to click on connect calendar and then you can sync up with any kind of calendar you want so it could be your um, microsoft office or it could be your google calendar so i'm going to connect my google calendar and i'm just going to sign in with my google account with the account calendar that i want to be signed up on and then i'm just going to allow all of these permissions and now HubSpot is just being set up. Now you can see over here that it has been connected. Now once you have connected your calendar, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create scheduling page and you can create a one-on-one -on -one scheduling page, a group scheduling page, or a robin round. So let's say I want to create a one-on-one -on -one scheduling page and now I'm just going to continue and upgrade to the sales hub starter. So you can just demo any of these and you can just click on start your 14 day free trial. And then you can just continue with your free trial over here just to get started with these features. And now you can see over here that I have my simple little setup. Now I'm going to go into my sales once more, go into meetings, create scheduling page, create a one-on-one -on -one page. And now you can see over here that you have the three-step setup. So first off, you have to uh, add the internal name. So let's say this is going to be marketing and then you're going to add the title. So let's say that this is going to be to a specific company or to a specific person. You can add their token name and then you can add the location. So it could be at XYZ building. And then you can also add a video conference link if you're doing this online, you can add that as well. And then you can cancel and reschedule. So there could be a rescheduling link or a cancellation link present, or you can turn this off as well, depending on the kind of scheduled meeting that you have. And then you're just going to click on next over here. And once you click on next, you can see you have your simple little meeting scheduler, and then you can set up your uh, 30 minute appointment. So however long this is, let's say I want this to be a one hour and 45 minute long scheduled meeting. And let's say I'm only available for these kinds of meetings on Mondays, I'm not even nine to five. Let's say I'm only available for this on four to nine on Mondays. So you can click on next over here. And then you can also have a confirmation email set up and you can also send a test email to test how this works. And you can also set if you want a pre-meeting reminder. Let's say I want a pre-meeting reminder to be sent to people that booked me for this kind of meeting one day before. 
So you can just click on create scheduling page and just like that, you have a simple little one-on-one -on -one meetup that people can schedule you for. So once you have like a singular meeting, you can also transfer ownership. So uh, it could be some other person that has these meetings. If you're managing a large team, like let's say you are running a larger clinic and you have like workers working for you and then you can set up their durations and their meeting schedules over here as well. And then you can click on, uh, let's say group scheduling, and then you can have your internal name and set up basically the same way in a group meeting, but you just have to enter team members as well. So let's say this is just going to be updates and then we're just gonna click on next over here and then you can add team members to this kind of meeting. And let's say I just have myself, I'm going to click on continue and then you can schedule it for a certain date and then you can click on next and click on create scheduling page. Now you can see over here that you have your simple little scheduling page already. So you can click on copy link and then you can paste it on Google to see what your scheduling link currently looks like. So you can click on the links over here as well. And people can set up when they want to meet you, what time they want, and what works best for them. And then they can also set up how long the meeting duration is. So let's say I added this one hour, 45 minute long meeting schedule. And then I also have this simple kind of 15, 30 to one hour meeting schedule as well. And you can get booked for any kind of gigs, any kind of services you provide via this scheduling software as well. So this is a very simple and easy way to use the HubSpot meeting scheduler. I'm going to delete all of these or maybe I'm just going to create another scheduling page and I'm going to show you a final example of a Robin round. So usually let's say that um, if you have like a work setup where one thing needs to be transferred to the next person and the next person needs to make some changes and then transfer it to the next person. For that kind of situation, you can send a Robin round kind of meeting. So this could be assessment. And then I'm going to click on next and then you can add the team members in a specific kind of uh, order. And then you're just going to confirm you're going to add your scheduling. So first you have your welcome. So you can have a welcome page over here. Then you have the schedule, then you have the form, then you have the confirmation for when they are going to be scheduled with a certain person, and then you have your basic automations. So that is how you create like a Robin round, so a larger circle of meetings. So it's a very simple and easy setup, and there are separate applications like Calendly that are used for appointment scheduling and booking, but I do find that the HubSpot version is very good and it does do all of your basic needs it fulfills all of your basic needs now this is not available for free however you will have to opt for a premium version on hubspot so if you go on talk to sales or you just click on show features over here and you can see over here that i am currently using the 14 day free version of the hubspot uh, sales hub professional so if we take a look at the pricing over here depending on the kind of tools that you want to use so marketing sales um, customer service cms operations they are, they are all pretty different so you can choose whatever kind of uh, tools you want and usually most of them are starting at 18 dollars per month but for having a simple kind of calendar meeting setup you might want to upgrade to a starter version at 18 dollars or later on depending on the features that you want to use you can also upgrade to the professional version you cannot use this on the free version it's pretty sad it's a very nice little setup that you can use but you can't do this kind of meeting scheduling on the free version of hubspot you will have to opt for at least a starter version so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to schedule your meetings and set up your own appointment booking using hubspot make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video